what's up people, Dobbs of Waters right here and I told you guys, I promised you guys that I would make a video right after the final live stream of Kingdom Hearts Melody and Memories. Well, what do I think of that game? Fantastic to be honest. Yeah, there's some things about it, it can be a little bit dull and a bit boring but the payoff for the ending was phenomenally fantastic. I was super happy for it. My stomach feels full after watching that ending. Absolutely amazing. Now, for you guys in the live stream, you guys saw this. Melody of Memories. Thank you for watching. Oh, come on, there's a freaking block, Scotty! No, you can't do that! Oh, no! Yeah. Fuck you, Sony. You an asshole. Now, pretty much, like I said, even this this happens all the time with people who are streaming on Xbox or on PlayStation. They block the recording of particular things, like maybe blocking the whole entire game or blocking a particular song or blocking an actual full-on ending. It's a bit of a ball, like, but luckily for me... I can actually get the type of recordings for it from another way, so hopefully I can show you the ending. Here's the last bit that you guys missed, and we'll talk about it right after it. Riku went alone? But that's way too dangerous! I have to go after him now! Do not be hasty, Mickey. But Master Yen said, he's all alone in a world we know nothing about! Precisely. We have never faced something like this before. Which is why we must remain calm. But... Hmm. Kairi, this information you bring us, it comes from Xehanort during his time as a researcher? Yes. Then that means he must have been aware of this other world for quite some time. But... We defeated Xehanort. Is there anybody else we can ask? Hmm. When I was still serving as a Keyblade Master, it was known that the Ancient Masters had crossed over into another world. I surmised that Xehanort looked more deeply into that world. The Ancient Keyblade Masters? For now, we must reach out to those in Radiant Garden, the land of departure and Twilight Town who are searching for Sora to inform them of what we have learned and have them halt their respective efforts. Donald, Goofy, I leave this to you. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! And Kairi, Will you continue your training, as you were before? Actually, I'd like to study under Master Aqua. That is an excellent idea. I approve. Thank you. And you, Mickey. Yes! I task you with the investigation of this new world, and how it is related to the ancient Keyblade Masters. But how? You'll begin in the world of Scala Ad Kailum. Now, pretty much, this ending has so many different things to talk about. Because we have the information that was brought to us by the... Um, form of Xehanort, who was a researcher, back from um, fa uh, from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 2. 
But besides that though, who is the third Keyblade wielder? Now it's very, very hard to say what it could be because it's a she. We don't know who it can be. But I have two reasons that they can be. One of them is when they said the ancient Keyblade wielders may be returning. We already know they're returning because of the trail, because of the secret ending in um, Kingdom Hearts 3. But there was one person that was missing out of that whole entire group speaking to um, the young master. And, um, oh yeah, I have a feeling it's her. I very do apologise, people, if I don't remember her name, but she was the girl, she was one She was one of the ancient Keyblade wielders who helped all the standard Keyblade wielders to flee and escape because of the war. We do not have a clue what happened to her. We do not know if she passed away slash died or um, she turned into a heartless or turned into a nobody. We do not know what happened to her. She might be that invisible star. By the sound of her voice. I don't remember. However, there is people thinking it's her. Now, people who don't have a clue who that is. That is Yozora's girlfriend. As you guys may know what that is. If you guys are not playing Kingdom Hearts 3, you may not understand. There's a game in the Toy Story world, which is Rex Raptor. Who's that dinosaur character. There's a video game that he plays in that video game. And the character in it is Yozora. And that's Yuzora's girlfriend. So either way, it could be either of these two in my eyes. But there is people thinking it's Namine. I don't think it is. But what I think it is, I think it's her. I really do think it is. And I do, like I said, people, I do apologise if I don't remember the names. It's just because I woke up early just to get this video up and ready and going. Now, with that being said, that's the end of the third Keyblade wielder. Now, there are pretty much everybody saying... So it is in a place where it's massively in Lord of Towers. Now, that world was a very big name. And I don't remember its name. I'll probably put the, the name of the um, world down here. Just to let you guys know what it's called. Now, they said it's a fictional world. Meaning it's, it's made up. Now, as you guys think about this. They think their world is real. Disney, fantasy, etc. They're talking about a world that they think is fictional. It could be an actual real world. And the way they said that it's a massive tower, I think it's connected to the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts 3. Which you may think, when you saw it, I'll probably show a little tiny clip around here. It's freaking Shibuya in Japan. And as you guys saw, Yozo was in that secret ending, Riku was in that secret ending, and also Sora. So that's probably connected to that. So I think the next Kingdom Hearts game may be connected with the real world. I think that's a fantastic idea. I think it really is a fantastic idea. People saying fictional character world, so probably everybody's all thinking, oh, the next game is going to be the stuff that Disney has bought, so meaning Marvel or Star Wars. That happens freaking awesome. That's actually a really, really good sh shout-out for Kingdom Hearts to do superheroes and Star Wars characters going into a Kingdom Hearts game. That'd be freaking amazing. But will it work? I don't think so. But we don't know when it does happen. The last thing that was popped up in that video as well is that Kyrie is not ready to become a true Keyblade wielder. She's not ready. So she's gone ahead and trained up with Aqua, who is a master now. So which is awesome. Donald and Goofy are going ahead to try and find Sora in other ways, but also Mickey Mouse has got his own mission to investigate one of the new worlds. And if you guys know what that was, it was the final world in Kingdom Hearts 3. The one that he faced Armored Xehanort in, which is freaking ace, because we only got a chance to go into that world at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, and then in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, the DLC, we got to go in there a lot more and look around that world a lot more in detail. And as you guys know, that world is also known as the world called Scala Ad Callum, which is the world where Master Xehanort and Master Ericus were born. They were there when they were kids, and if you guys don't remember, I'll put a picture of that too. But the last thing that was done, so pretty much we all know what's going on. Rika's gone ahead to this tower, we think it's Shibuya, to find Sora. Kairi is in 
is being taught by Master er Aqua. Master Aqua. Donald and Goofy, we don't have a clue what they're going to be doing, but probably they're going to go into same worlds that we've already been in to try and look for Sora, try and find some clues. Mickey Mouse has gone to um, Scar Ad Karam. But the last thing is, though, this probably is going to be the full-on start of a new saga of Kingdom Hearts. We already know the the um, Xehanort saga, the Xemnas, the Ansem sagas, they're over and done with. They're dead and, they're dead and buried now. It's over. There's nothing left about them to carry on with. Pretty much now, I think the next saga will be about the ancient Keyblade wielders. Because, yeah, it looks like it's going to be an amazing one. Because we've still got one thing left to be answered. The black box. That black box is still a mystery and we don't have a clue what's going on. And we also know that Maleficent and Pete are still going after that as well. So they'll be probably returning for the next game. But the last thing to talk about before I end this video off, before it gets too, too long is the title that was ended off the video. An Oath to Return Kingdom Hearts. Which, as you guys know, it's an oath, meaning it's like a promise. Swear an oath, swear like, like a promise. So, an oath to return, which is a promise to return Kingdom Hearts. Which pretty much tells you right there, it's not it's not over with Kingdom Hearts. They're already that plot. Probably they're gonna start making it after they finished Kingdom um, after they finished Final Fantasy 16, which comes out I think 2021 or 2022. I'm not 100 sure, but I'm sure it's gonna. I'm sure we might get another spin-off before then. I don't know, but I tell you what though, that ending had a lot, a lot of plot potholes, but a lot of them has been filled. We knew what happened to Carrie when she was a little girl. We know about Xehanort more when he was. A form of terror when he transformed himself from old Xehanort to young terror and made himself into young Xehanort and everything. To be honest, people, a lot of people may be thinking they're a bit confused about this, but if you guys have played Kingdom Hearts just like I have from the very beginning all the way up to the end, you should know what's going on. Now, do I have a feeling what the title is going to be called for the next Kingdom Hearts? I don't think it's going to be called Kingdom Hearts 4. I can set that down to straight right now. There's not going to be a Kingdom Hearts 4 in a long time. I think it's going to be another side story name, which I think might be called Kingdom Hearts... Which I think is going to be the, the title of what we see here. Kingdom Hearts, Oath to Return. That's, well, that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it right there. That might be the name. I may be completely wrong. It could be something completely different. But either way, I'm excited. So with that being said, people, that's all I have time for, people. And that is it for Kingdom Hearts for another few years. There might be another one coming very soon without us knowing. Hell with it. If it happens, I'm ready for it. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And also tell me what do you think about the ending of Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories. Did you like it? Did you find it was lacklustre in? Or did you have more questions to answer? With that being said, the people on Slug will see you guys subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!